My people, my people, finally, the time is now. Finally, Chinaye and Chris don't finally surprise us. Onye Murumwa, eh? Adam Maputa Kene Nobo. Inye de mama kae beta sip na money kila mo Adam ma mpeke mpeke ya adada chinenye puta kene nobo Inye de mama kao beta sip na money kila mo Adam ma mpeke mpeke ya Oh my people the time is now the time is now Congratulations again and again to chinenye nebe and Chris Okagwe who they breathe who they check and who they see am Hey my people did you see beauty? Are you watching? Few days ago, Chinanye and Chris surfaced at the internet space to practice their traditional marriage dance. <laughs> to the shock of the whole world. Can you see? Can you see? Is this for real? One thing for sure you have to know is that Uche Nancy is blessed to have four adorable, amazing daughters. She's lucky to have queens, to have raised queens, because she is one. Did you see Chinenye? Is it a height? Is it a dressing? Is it a smile? What more can I talk about? Congratulations again and again to Chinenye Nebe. Kai! Chinenye puta kene nobo. Yenti mama ka. Beta soup na moni kilamo. Adama peken peken ya. Adada. Adani darama, Adani darama, Adani darama, Chinenye ni darama. <laughs> Chinenye ni di Christima, putakine nobo, Ihe di ma maka, beta soup, beta soup, beta soup. Na money kilam, na money duam. Yes, beta soup na money na inkosam, because if you give your wife 500 to go and make soup, she will make 500 rand soup for you. But if you give her 10,000, she will make 10,000 soup for you. If you give her 100K to make a pot of soup, the difference will be clear. She will make a pot of soup that worth 100K for you. What am I trying to say? Better soup. Na money, na empayam. Yes. Yes. The beauty you are seeing, na money they speak. Na money yo. Na money yo. <laughs> na money yo. Na money they talk. Na money you they see. She what more than gold. She is what more than gold. Hey. Iman, as in one you do call. Hey. As in one you do call. Mm -hmm. Good woman is cast. Good woman, I say again, is cast. Iman, as in one you do call. Character is the beauty of a woman. According to Igbo culture and tradition. Culture. According to Igbo culture and tradition, Angwa, Bumangwanyi. Yeah. Character is the beauty of a woman. Without character, a woman is not beautiful. That's why sometimes I begin to wonder, people, this Gen Z generation now, they will think that so far someone has Bakasi and milk industry overload one, over like triple, trip load of Bakasi and milk industry. So far a woman is endowed Backside and front side, that we say, oh, she's beautiful. Or whereas a woman is tall, that she has the height. Some people will say, oh, she's very beautiful because she's tall. Look at her backside. Look at her front. You guys are making mistake. According to my culture, Igbo, Igbo culture and tradition, the beauty of a woman is a character. Not you can tell me. Not her physical appearance. Yeah. Not her physical appearance, because if you have chosen a woman because she is physically endowed, you are making a mistake. That is why this Gen Z generation are really getting it wrong. Imagine getting married after a month you are divorcing. Imagine after getting married, after get, having, having one child, two, you are divorcing. Because you went for what? Physical appearance. You went for backside and milk industry. Now, that vacancy and milk industry cannot sustain the marriage for you. You are rolling, you are rolling, you are rolling Hertha Sketa in a marriage that is not even up to five years. Whereas your own mother, your own father, they stayed till they buy together in marriage. They never divorce, they stay together. Because what? They look beyond Bakasi and milk industry. 
they look beyond the physical appearance of your mother before getting married to her. I could remember back in the days, a man will ask a woman's hand in marriage, not because of her beauty, not because she has bakasi or milk industry. It will be because she is homely raised. But this Gen Z generation don't even care how a child or how a girl child is being raised or how a male child is being raised. They will just jump, bam, I want to marry. And they are married after one week. Imagine people will even divorce after, after one week, safe. After one week, one month, three months, after having one issue or two, you will see, uh, I don't want to stay with him again. I don't want to, I don't want to continue in this marriage. I don't want to stay here again. I don't love him again. I don't love her again. What happened? Did you not look well before you leap? Yeah, that's what they said. Look well before you leap. This picture of Chinaya has really made me to think a whole lot about marriage and life. Congratulations to you again and again, our beautiful bride, the choosing one. The choosing one in the life of Chris Okawe. Let me tell you, these people, these two you are seeing, they are going to make a perfect marriage. Reason being that Chinaya is well raised. She is homely raised. She is a queen because her mother is one. She was raised like a queen she is because her mother happens to be a queen who single-handedly raised her and her three other siblings all by herself. And they are now the talk of the whole world. Congratulations to you, Uche Nancy, and family. You raised a queen. You raised a presence. You raised the choosing one in the heart of Chris Okabwe. And on the other hand, Looking at Chris, you will see a great man. You will see a humble man. You will see a man who is coming from a home. You will see a man who is homely raised by his own parents. That's why he said the beauty of a woman lies in character. And the handsomeness of a man lies in his character and also pockets. Yes, so maybe you didn't hear this one very well. Man, okay, the nakaya. The beauty of a man lies in his pocket and also his character. Yes, I know you've been saying in okay, came. What are you even talking about? Which one be pocket? I say a hey, good morning. Cause so as a man, because back in the days, I agree up to know that my mom will stay at home, and I call her. Back in the days, they called them Oriako. Back in the days of our mothers, our ground. Mothers, they call them Oriako. They stay at home. Why they make folks go out for hunting for food? Yes. So, according to our culture and tradition, the men are the ones to go and hustle extra by more than a woman. But these days I'm shocked and surprised that so many lazy men are out, are out there waiting for their wives to go and cater for food. This is really an error. My dear women, don't marry a lazy man. Even in the days of our forefathers, they did not encourage laziness for a man. A man has to be smart. A man has to be hardworking to feed his beautiful wife. Your wife is meant to stay at home and eat your money. That is why she's been called Oriako. But thank God for Western culture that has really trans transformed a bit of them. Now women are opatako. Women are not called opatako. They are not the one hustling for money. Even more than their husband. Yes, in case you didn't hear me, women are not the one taking over. Women are really taking over. That is why you have to train your daughters in different ways. Don't allow them to be only Oriako. There should be Okwatako as well because when a woman is Okwatako and Oriako, Kai, that home will never break. There will be enough because based on the economic situation of Nigeria and the whole world, if you allow your husband to be the only Okwatako, my dear, poor vertigo by you and your children. You have to be Oriako of your husband. You have to be the one eating the wealth of your husband and also hustling to make more wealth in the family as a woman. And I know Uche Nancy has raised her daughters in different ways to be Oriako and Opatako. That's why I said Chris Okagwe is very blessed to have Chinenye, a gorgeous presence, a gorgeous queen, who is also Oriako. She's also Oriako and Opatako. You know what I mean? She is industrious, man. She's a producer. She's an actress. Oh my goodness, she's a businesswoman. Hmm. What more have I not said? Chris is very blessed to marry Oriako and Opatako. 
Because if you marry some of the Gen Zs, who are only Oriaku, my dear, that marriage, if it lasts ten year, five years, the thing lasts too much. <laughs> because only you will come out and complain. Hey, everything you ask, everything you ask me for, you ask me money for pepper, for sugar, for honey, for maggi, anything you want to buy, even crayfish, you ask me money for it. But you married her like that. Uh -huh. Why are you complaining? So what am I saying? I'm just here to congratulate Chinenye and Christ. Yes. Because Chinenye is a patako and uriako. God bless your beautiful home. The beautiful bride. Our own dear Chinenye and Christ. God bless your union. Because even if this is not reality, I have already claimed it on their sake that it will come to reality sooner than we expected. I can't wait. I can't wait. Look at the beautiful bride. The beautiful African bride. The beautiful Igbo bride. Kai, as she step out in style with her beautiful attire. Oh my goodness. God bless the day that we are giving back to because you are indeed a queen and you are representing Igbo culture and tradition in general. Thank you so much, Chi. And to the lovers of Chinenye and Christ, please pray for them at the comment section. Wish them well because they deserve the best. A beautiful bride. Indeed, you are. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And don't forget, for more interesting and amazing updates coming from my channel, please do well to subscribe and turn on your bell notification. And God bless you guys for always coming back to watch my video. I love you guys. Thank you so much and so much. God bless you for watching. Okay, I feel like not ending this video because I feel like to talk more, to educate you more about African culture and tradition, most especially the Igbo culture and tradition. Maybe in the next video, I will continue to educate you more on how traditional marriage is being done according to Igbo culture and tradition. God bless you and bless your home again and again, Chinyanye and Chris, because I know soonest it will happen in reality. Okay.